is a podcast all about me. Your best, best, best friend, Max Gillardi. There's some other guy, guy too, too, but you don't need to worry about him. He's probably gay. What a faggot, what a loser. No one likes somebody. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Welcome to the show. Oh, okay. Welcome to the show. This is Weisenheimer's episode. Do you remember the episode, Max? Seven? Yes, good job, Max. You win You win a, a kiss that you can... Wow, I just tried to... Oh, God, you're already a robot. Really, Max? Grow up. You, you sound like a robot to me, so well, what do you think of that? I think that I'm less of a robot than you. Cause well, I just he... took a shot in the dark, and I can't believe that I actually got that right. So, see, you care more than you more than you lead on. Maybe that, guys, next week we're gonna we, this, that will be our, our two month anniversary. You know what this is? This is lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. Do you like that movie? Never seen it. What's it about? It's about a gang in Vegas, and they pull tricks and stunts. It's pretty cool. Like Jackass. Yeah, it's pretty much jackass, only with professional actors. Well, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good movie. You should watch it. Uh, I don't like movies. Oh, okay. You only like them if they have preteen girls with superpowers. Uh, what movie is that? That's uh, the Powerpuff Girls movie. Powerpuff Girls are preteen. Uh, pretty preteen, pretty pretty pre. Well, yeah, they're, they're technically in, they're the preteen. In kindergarten, yo, Tom. Is that before teen? You didn't say. Okay, you know what? You're being uh, a, a uh, brute. I just Weisenheimered you, man. You're uh. being a brute, and you're being a rascal, and you're being very rascally, and I don't hey, appreciate it. Are you on mybrutes.com? That's my favorite website. I don't know what that is. This you sound where... a little quiet today. I do, baby. You want me to get louder up in this piece? Can you get louder for me without getting louder for the audience? Nope. <sighs> Can you make me louder well, just... on the Skype thing? No, I have you turned up all the way. Actually. Oh, boy. Check your settings, man. You need to be more prepared I for this. Don't, I don't know why yo Tom is gay. This is not the pre-show anymore, Max. You can just sing songs, okay? Bettles? Bettles. What is your favorite Beatles song? <clears throat> Probably Maxwell Silver Hammer. Okay, I turned you up. Thank you. So, what's on the agenda today, my friend? Ooh, not much. Not oh, much. Oh, I know what this episode's about. What is it about? Scott Pilgrim cast. Scott cast! Okay, I'm gonna We're be... gonna be talking about the characters. Okay, I'm We're gonna, gonna be, be Ramona. We're gonna be talking about the story. You're gonna be Scott, I'm gonna be Ramona for the whole show. Okay, I will be, I will be Sam... Sam Indian. Okay. Wait, but you're already you're already Scott. All right. Hey, I'm, I'm Ramona Flowers. I think that that's really cute. I don't think he sounds like that. I think he sounds like a boy, not a not 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 no, like a Jew. I think I I think that I would know how I would sound, and you don't know anything about my voice. So why don't you just shut your big old stupid mouth? Well, I'm Ramona, and <clears throat> and I'm in love with you. I think that's cute. But you need to fight my ex-boyfriend. Oh, no. Who's your favorite character? I like the... I, I'm a big fan of King Pines. My favorite character is Squidward. So wow. check it out, scottpilgrim.com. Featuring squidward.org. S- Squidward, the new Scott Pilgrim character. Uh, everyone, uh, Scott Pilgrim falls in love with Squidward, and he d- he has to fight Squidward's seven ex-girlfriends. <laughs> okay. Do you really think Squidward would have seven ex-girlfriends? <laughs> no, I don't think he would have one. No. Oh, uh, poor Squidward. I feel bad for him. I don't, because he's a, he's a real bummer. Right, but why is he a bummer? Because he hates his life? Because everyone's always being mean to Squidward? And that's not fair to him. He's a sad piece of shit. No, no. He just wants to be an artist and fulfill his creative ingenuity. And everyone's always got to put him down. Well, because he's bad at it. 
Well, maybe he would be better at it if he... You know what? Squidward is a good character, and if you don't like him, then I guess you're just... to squids. I really like Patrick, and... and I like that squirrel... I like Sandy. <laughs> Sandy's a really fun character. Yo, Tom, what do you think? Could I have been one of the seven evil exes? Probably. Which one would I be? Are they do they, are they all different? They have different personalities. Is it like? Well, no, they're the all angry dicks. One, but... the, the angry one, the sexy one. No, the... well. Because I was thinking I would be like the funny one. Uh, I don't know if that would fit because they're all sort of dicks. I, I can't see like a funny character fitting in that. That would kind of ruin uh, Scott's style, man. So they're all they're all dicks, and that's it. There's no more personality than that. Pretty much. Oh. Hmm. But they're cute. They're skinny. Well, I think all the characters are skinny. Maybe there should be a fat one. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Actually, one of her more girlfriends. There's one. She was kind of chubby, I guess. She has she has ex girlfriends and ex boyfriends. One ex girlfriend. Oh. It's kind of cute. So you know that Ramona's a huge slut. I don't know which one Ramona is. Ramona, that's the main uh, love interest girl. The main love interest? Well, how do you keep track? Because Scott Pilgrim likes fucking 50 girls. <laughs> well, he's a player. Don't be a player hater. Check it out. ScottPilgrim.com. They all have the same face. But it's okay. No, it's not. It's fine. No. Well, I like faces, and I like when they repeat, and I like when they don't change ever. Okay, so let's <laughs> fight. Oh, uh, let's not fight. Okay, we won't fight. Uh, <clears throat> this yes, podcast is taking all, all, all I have inside. Maybe we mind. should have a serious discussion. Okay. About no. No? I, uh, I don't really have anything serious to say about it. And I, I'm pretty sure by now everybody already knows how I feel about it. But I'll tell you what, I will be boy boycotting the Scott Pilgrim movie because <laughs> that girl has blue hair. And yeah, guess what? Fucking ripoff of The Simpsons. Marge has blue hair. It's fucking plagiarism. So I won't go see that movie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I didn't think about that. She's starting to be Marge. Right. To 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 be just like when I think about it, she acts exactly like Marge. Well, how do you tell? Because she doesn't act like anything. Because she doesn't have a personality. Well, she's a bitch. Marge's a huge bitch. <laughs> Mar whoa, whoa! Marge is not a bitch. Marge's a bitch or a bird. No. Come on. Marge is, Marge is a nice lady. Yeah, for a bitch. <clears throat> No, no, no. Yeah, I think I think she's a bitch. Well, okay, I think that that settles the serious discussion. I guess. Also, if you want to someone... see my review of Scott Pilgrim, go to my website. Check out my new Scott Pilgrim comic. That's right, I'm doing Scott Pilgrim comics now. The guy who does do it, he's uh he's retiring. I'm gonna be taking over for him, and I'm gonna oh, be the new really? guy who makes Scott Pilgrim. Scott cool. Pilgrim is my intelligent property now, and it won't be done by him anymore. It's now mine. Alright, all right. what, what, what direction are you taking it to? Uh, that's actually a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, well, first of all, I'm going to... Uh, uh, Squidward will now, will now be the main character of the show and there won't be any other characters well, besides uh, Squidward. So you also own Spongebob? No. And that's actually something that I'm worried about. Is Oh, yeah. I think uh, they potential, might on to that. Potential litigation from Nickelodeon Studios. Uh, uh, for infringement mm -hmm. on their character because I don't own Spongebob but Squidward will be in this comic as long as I have a breath in my body I will make sure that that happens because frankly I think Squidward was like supposed to be in there the entire time yeah I think I think so I think they hinted towards him being there I think that you can see some of his shadows in the background in some in like right. every volume you can see and I have to adhere to the integrity of what the original artist intended yeah i think that if you if you take the the one of the pages and you put it in photoshop and and like take it to negative and and put up the saturation and here then you, you can actually see squidward and he's like 
I'm the eighth ex-boyfriend. Fight this, and he points at his tentacles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, you know what? Because Squidward wouldn't be an ex-boyfriend because once you date Squidward, that's it. You're set for life until uh... he dumps you. Yeah, because he's a man of many talents. Arms. Arms, yeah, arms. That's true. Also, someone's saying that June also has blue hair, so... Wonder yeah, but that her, but it's a different shade of blue. That's light oh. blue. Oh, okay, sorry. So, you can get me on that. Yeah, although... Uh, I think that if you put a picture of her next to Marge when she was, like, in college and she had, like, her long hair, I think they would look similar. Totally different shades of blue. <clears throat> okay, whatever. 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 Accusing me of something? I'm just saying that if you say that Ramona is <clears throat> infringing on Marge Simpson, then I think you are also, sort of. No, no. What is this? The Spanish Inquisition? Come on. Get out of here with that with that crap. I don't know Spanish, so I don't I don't know what you mean. Okay. Okay. Oh wow. Someone's just going, hey guys, try to do this SpongeBob laugh. He can you said, do it? He said it three times. Can you do it? Yes, I can. Let's hear it. Nope. Please? I'm not I'm not going to satisfy MJ because he sounds like a, a character from fucking any series in the nineties. He is Michael Michael Jordan. Or Michael Come Jackson. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Mm -mm -mm. I, I prefer to think Michael Jordan. Or like You're going to hate some... me for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, continue. No, please. You're going to hate me for this, but that was actually a name that I went by for a while because my first name begins with M and my middle name begins with J. So that is a nickname that I had once, MJ. MJ, really? Yep. What's your middle name? name? Jewish? John. Oh. John. Hmm, nice. Jewish is not a name. Oh, it's not? No. Nope. I was raised to believe that that's a middle name. The word Jewish, a name. Yeah. Well, I don't know Just about that. Respect. Well, I don't know about that. So let's hear your SpongeBob voice and go. <laughs> no, that's not how he laughs. No. No, I think that's how he'll... I, uh, well, I guess we get SpongeBob confused. Is, is, is he the... You see the murderer from real life? See the murderer from real life. Dahmer? Spon I'm getting no. Dahmer and SpongeBob mixed up. It's a common mistake. Yeah, you know, because they're both they both have have a lot of influence on my animations and cartoons. I guess. Yeah. Just... Boy, we are being fucking hilarious today, huh? I'm being a funny, funny Joe. How about you, John? You're yeah, listening to the Scott Pilgrim cast. We're the big fans of Scott, of Pil Pil Pilman, and we are going to be talking all about the show today. <laughs> we are. Yeah. So the game know. looks good. It has music from Hamika Nushi like Hey, you that. know what? The I game does song. look good. And uh, it has art by Paul Roberts. Maroon. From Paul Prop. Yep. I think we're done with the Pilgrim cast for now. Scott No, cast. the Pilgrim the Pilgrim cast will never end. <sighs> it needs to end, I I think cause... Oh no, no. Okay, well what do you want to talk about? What's talk... next on the agenda? I want to talk about embar embarrassing things we we did as children. Embarrassing moments? Oh, we got to have emails. There's no way we don't have emails. I know, but first of all, we also have other things that I planned. Emails is for the end, Max. Don't try and run the show, because it's mine. I can kick you out like this. Emails is for the end, Max. Really? That was mean. What... I think I do a good job at that. That was really mean. Why would you do that? Did you think that that was accurate? I don't know, because it, it just that struck me funny the way that you said that. You know what? Sure, sure. Just do impressions of me. Go on. Hey guys, it's me, your Tom. I'm gonna be doing on the show today. <laughs> today, <laughs> today. My fa I watch Scott Pilgrim all day long. I read the comic book. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's really good. Good job. I like how they all have same face. <laughs> oh, the so same face they have it is so funny. <laughs> I love how they all have the same face. 
Uh, I don't get confused and have to do a lot of facial recognition for different characters. I like it. Okay, now you're starting to sound like Adelberg from Home Movies, which we were talking about last week. Oh, yeah. Cool. You know what? That's called bookending. Bringing it full circle. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not a good... No, that's <laughs> a good full circle when it's a previous show. Eh, maybe. Yeah, probably. Maz, you fucking poop your pants. What is this? I don't even. My name isn't Maz. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm Maz. Let's go skateboard. Would that be, an, would that be a game uh, name for a girl or a boy? Maz. I think, or a really hip guy, or a real ugly girl. Maybe. So, what's next on the agenda on the Scott Pilgrim cast? We're talking about uh, well, Scott I tried Pilgrim. talking about, about embarrassing childhood memories, but I guess you, you were too busy trying to do Do you memories. have one that you want to share? Yeah, I do. I want you to also share. I don't know if I can come up with one off the top of my head. You don't have to I mean, I've, I've shared one. my most embarrassing story. Come on, baby. I don't, I don't remember any of them. Because I feel like you remember the worst, and then that's it. No. I'd have to really think about it. Well, think. Uh, this is a this is a short one. I don't know why but I used to like when when I went to pee. I used to stand up on the toilet and just pee straight down. Stand on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. St stand on the toilet. Yeah. Standing straight up on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. You must have taken incredible balance. No, no, no. Really. You can slip, and your foot toilet or into the toilet. Uh, yeah, but you, you you can hold on to the to the tank. Wasn't you must have been like super little because the bigger you got, the harder it would have been to maintain your balance on something. something yeah, I so was small. I was young. I was well, like six, seven. Six? That's too old. That's too old. Wouldn't it be uncomfortable to to point your penis directly south like that? Well, yeah, I didn't say well it was comfortable. It's just something I did sometimes. Yeah, but if you're not doing it because it's comfortable, why are you doing it? I like to mix gonna, things up how, a bit, you know? That's how you break your penis. You're going to have a broken pinus if you do that. I like to to, to, do, to do new things. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a warrior. Well, to be truly human is to be constantly... Uh, yeah, who said that? I don't recall. You know who said Who? Uh, the guy from Home Movies. The fat kid. Yeah, but he... Yeah, Jason, I think, said it once, but it's it's not like he came up with that phrase. To be a fast, it's a rough number. That's how he talks. Sure, it was Hippocrates or something, or... Hippocrates? Yeah. Hippocrisy. I don't know. Yeah. You know yeah, that Socrates, dude, Hippocrisy? Or Mocrates, or... Or... I don't know, some famous philosophy man. Yeah, Mr. Philosophy Man. I know that guy. That's my superhero name. I don't think it is. You're a liar. So think of something awkward now. So you're telling a story when you you and you pee, you stand on the toilet, you have a broken dick. Mm-hmm. And how is this gonna get embarrassing? That's pretty embarrassing. Your mother walks isn't it? in. Your mother walks in and says, "Yo, Tom, what are you doing?" My mom gave birth to me when she was 83. <laughs> Well, Tom, what are you doing, you rapscallion? Get down from there! <laughs> How could you do this to your poor mother? How could you, you bring me shame? Nothing but shame! <laughs> so yeah, my mom was married to, uh... to Jafar. <laughs> okay. But then they got divorced and she she met my dad. That's a shame. Yeah, I could repeat. Who has the voice of Gilbert Godfrey? Yeah. No, well, that's horrible. <laughs> oh no, I just coughed. Oh. So does that does that story end in a in an anecdote or? I just told you that 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 happened. I'm sorry. Uh, it wasn't like a beginning, middle, and end. It's just a fact. Okay. I don't know. I thought something was gonna happen. Not it's good. only it's only embarrassing if you tell a story, unless somebody walked in on you or. I think the fact that I did is embarrassing enough. I mean, if you told me like, no, because no, I would be I my neighbor's dick. I would feel like, whoa, that's pretty embarrassing. No, it's only embarrassing if if there's someone there that 
is witness to the embarrassment. Well, then he doesn't and have to be embarrassing. Less, it has to be weird. It's not embarrassing if you don't tell him what you would have done if you hadn't have told me. Then let's say it just needs to be weird, okay? Weird things that you did when you were little? Yeah. I don't know. I had imaginary friends. but I think Nerd! Not a, not a nerd. So hot. Not a nerd. I remember I had one and he looked like a like a soccer ball. Was his name Wilson? Nope. Uh. Okay, Scott up like update movie? cast. Scott update. Uh, what is the latest on Scott Pilgrim? We've got <clears throat> breaking Scott Pilgrim news from all of your favorite Scott Pilgrim sources. We've got Maxwell out on the scene. Just checking all the all the ma all the Scott related information to make sure we're not mis missing a beat. Right. What is the, tell me what is the new information? Okay. Well, okay. He's telling me uh, Scott is is now is now a movie and it's it's a good movie. Really cute. <laughs> Michael Pilgrim. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> hey. 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 What? What? Scott. Sarah. <laughs> 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 mm. Max, you're driving. Check it me. out, scottpilgrim.corn. Okay, uh, so that, that was the Scott Pilgrim uh, update of the of the of the uh, on the hour on the hour, right? I guess. Sure, that works. I guess. And <clears throat> you're gonna get one another one soon. Okay. All right. uh, do you have another? Do you have any awkward stories at all? Oh. No. Nothing that's worth talking about. No. I had something weird ha happen to me. It's, it's not really ghost. weird. Oh, you saw a ghost? No, you saw a ghost. Oh, yeah, I saw a ghost, and I was like, the hell, is that a ghost? And then I cleaned my camera, and it was just like a a, a dusted, a dusty, a tiny dust, a dust light. Well, you know what they say, dusty is not a busty. I don't think anyone ever said that. <laughs> my, my dad says that. Really? Dusty is not a busty? What, who's Dusty? I don't even know what the phrase means, but it's something that my father is always Call saying. your dad! Call him? Yeah. On the phone? Sure. Well, I think he's downstairs. Call your dad! I'm upstairs. still living at home, you know. Upstairs. Call him upstairs. Or downstairs. Why? So you, so you can get an explanation from Dusty. No, I've asked him to explain it before. He doesn't want to. I think he, he wants to be mysterious. I think he he's hiding a very deep secret. Father cast. Dad cast. <laughs> dad cast. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> yeah. Sounds so much better. Dad. So uh, I've got a nice dad. I like my dad. I know you have a lot of issues with your dad. I know you're a very unhappy child, right? <sighs> okay. Mm. My dad's bald. Is your dad bald? No, my dad has a full head of hair. Cool. My dad is a bit tan. How's your dad? Is he pale? Oh, my dad is incredibly tan. Cool. I think our dads would hang. Does your dad wear sunglasses or glasses? My dad wears glasses. Seems like you're basing uh, whether or not they would hang purely on their physical appearance. Yeah, I think that's how dads connect. No, I don't think so. Unless oh, they're they two do. very shallow people. Dads are shallow. What is your... They are? Shallow dads, yeah. What is your dad into? Hardcore. No. He is. You don't know that. <laughs> Do you know that for a fact? That I your do. father well, is? Well, not, not hardcore porn, but yeah, he's, he has some porn DVDs. He, he's, he's. Is this something that you talk about with your father? Uh, No, not really. But it's not something I'm embarrassed of. We have a very open relationship. I still take baths with him sometimes. Yes, I, I don't. I'm Scrub. beginning to question just like whether or not your relationship with your father is even appropriate. How come? Because Cause... to me, it doesn't sound like it is. Why? What? What's giving that out? Because I love my father. Well, why, I don't understand the whole porn thing. That just seems like something that's very personal, and it's not something that you should. Well, talk the about, man has porn with... DVDs because he's a grown man. Yeah, well, that's something that's private. I know, but he puts them around. Well, I mean, and these are homemade. Yeah, of him and other and like my friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. So of him and my my best friends. 
And he pays them. So it's nice, so it's okay. Okay. Everyone says I got a really cool dad. I don't think my dad is into porn at all, so I don't think it is. Oh, wait, I got an update. Dusty is a huge porn star from the late 70s. Dusty's oh, sure. got bust, means he, Dusty has huge tits, which means your dad li like, likes to touch himself. <laughs> the phrase is, Dusty is not a busty. Same thing, shut up. Okay. You know what, it's not imperative that our dads get along. I think they would they hang can, out. Especially since they live on opposite sides of the planet. I think That's they can start... <laughs> necessity. <laughs> I just thought of the weirdest thing ever. What if, like, two dads started a, a long-distance relationship? <laughs> is this is this a romantic relationship? I'm no. Sure it's no, just like a friend. Just a like long-distance friendship? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, somewhere on the planet, this has got to have happened to somebody. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? I, I don't know. Actually, I know what you mean by just finding random things funny. The other day the phrase, world's fattest clown just popped into my head and I thought that was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, and I, don't, I don't even know what it means or what it's about, but I think, I think it's pretty funny. obvious, to be honest. I guess, but it, you know. Oh, it's pretty funny. Good times. Who is the world's fattest clown? Oh. And who are these dads who are having long distance <laughs> relationships? These are the questions that we have to ask ourselves. It's all about Every day. philosophy and understanding mm -hmm. the universe and how it works mm -hmm. and just asking those big questions. Because, I mean, dads are, are, are what, what make the world go round and so are clowns. Scientists do still do not understand what dads are exactly. Yeah, they, they've ran like hundreds of tests. I mean, are they humans, reptiles, food? Who knows? I don't know. I wouldn't. I I try to stay away from dads. I also try to stay away from dads. Because there's just something about them that freaks me out. Well, they're, they're creepy people. I'm now watching a YouTube video called Fat Clowns Need Love Too. Okay, well, we're not talking about fat clowns. Oh, no, we're not? It seems like we are. No. Seems like that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Check it out, fattyclownporn.net. There's a clown dancing like on an empty stage with no crowd and gyrating his hips. Gross. Yeah, this is kind of gross. I... Okay, whoa. I don't you know want to talk about fat clowns anymore. I don't about clowns. <laughs> Did I say anything? Sorry. <coughs> I gotta okay, why are we just why are we in silence here? No, sorry, you turned into a robot. Oh. It's okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay, Scott Pilgrim Update dot com. Scott Pilgrim update. I have just received the new information from Scott Pilgrim. Uh Scott Pilgrim said that he uh cloned himself. Uh before he was even born, the government got his DNA and they cloned him. Wait, they, Scott Pilgrim is an actual guy? Yeah. Oh, really? So, so and they that, occupied oh, the entire cool. town that Scott Pilgrim lives in with all of the clones, and that's why everybody looks the same. Oh, I didn't know that it's a it's a autobiographical comic. I thought I thought it was it was fiction. Yeah. Well, no, but I you guess know. that makes sense. Yep. I guess that makes in sense. The whole cool. time you thought it was just random, but there was a method to the madness. So everyone in Toronto now looks the same. Is that where it takes place, Toronto? Yep. Well, I'm going to make a uh, comic that takes place in Boise, Idaho. What will it, what, what will it be about? Small-time racism? <laughs> small-time racism? <laughs> there yeah. is no small-time racism. <laughs> there is. It's like um, racism all doesn't racism really affect is big time anything. Because racism is wrong. Oh my god, I never thought about it that way. I'm sorry. Sexism is right, though. Yeah, because sexism women are feels inferior. good. Mm-hmm. 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 What's next on the agenda? <clears throat> well, I was about to tell you about something that happened to me when I was a kid. It's not really a story. It's just like, I can't understand why I did it. Yo, Tom. Yeah? I don't like your stories. You don't like my stories? I don't like to tell the story? 
What? What's happening? You're a kid. Just tell me. Never mind. I'm. I don't want to do it anymore. You really made me sad Wait. now. Nope. Not sad. That wasn't cool, man. That you totally stepped on my on my self-esteem. Well, I'm gonna do that. Well, I'm gonna ask everyone. Do you want to hear my story, guys? Nope. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear it. If you do, say one. If you don't, say one. And typing, not not the letter. <laughs> it's so convoluted. Yeah, but look, your last story was not very good. It had a good premise, but there was no story. I didn't say it was a s things. Well, the things are bad. I want a story. I want a narrative. I want beginning, middle, middle and end. Well, there is like a Scott there Walton. is a middle beginning and ending. -ing. Look, if you want to learn about storytelling, check out Scott Pilgrim the movie. Dot movie. Or you can watch Storytelling by Todd Solondz and get real Or you can sad. watch Or you can watch Papa Beaver's Storytime. You can do that. So in first grade I <clears throat> was rolling around the, the room where you are in first grade. Rolling around the room? Yeah, wait, no, it was before first grade, it wasn't like cartons. So you power of girl age. Yeah, yeah. I was hanging around with bubbles. Cause she's the kiddest one. Nope. And I was run walking around going like, hey, does anyone need help with their Legos? Because I was the Lego master. <laughs> hey, hey, does anybody need help with their Legos? Yeah, because Legos can be pretty difficult at times, right? You had some... <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think they can get a bit frustrating because, you know, there are four squares and to figure out where the... Okay, so, so who needed help with Legos? A cute little girl. Uh-oh. Ooh. It's gonna turn mm. racy. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I like sat next to her and we became friends over the years. And then like uh I don't know I'm not sure when, but all of a sudden we lost connection. We just stopped talking to each other. And then in like about do 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 I need to ca calculate grades in English one moment. Hey Let's say about ninth grade. I started talking to her again because she was still in my school. Uh huh. And she like told me, "Why did you Why did you do like that one thing when when we were younger?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And she said, "Like I don't know. One day you called me and just said I don't want to talk to you anymore. Leave me alone and hung up. And I don't remember that. And I feel bad to this day. You really feel bad." I do. I did feel bad because I do like her. I, I do find her a very pleasant human being, and apparently I, I broke her heart somehow. No, I I question actually happened. She might be the one who's remembering incorrectly. I don't think so, because I remember being really good friends with her. I remember us playing uh, Team Simon and Pumba, the game on right, the computer. Right, but but if you're if you were really good friends, then why would you do that? You wouldn't. Well, you're a kid. Sometimes you're just like uh, pressured by friends to go like. Hey, where are you hanging out with a girl? She's a faggot. Because you're a young yeah, kid, remember, you're very impressionable. I remember I broke up with my first girlfriend because the other kids were teasing me about having a girlfriend. Yeah, so it's, maybe it was something like that, so I felt really bad. Yeah, but I, st I, I still think the story is highly suspect. She was calling into question something that you don't remember doing. My first instinct would examine the situation and think... Well, maybe I shouldn't just assume that I did it and take her word for it because maybe she is the one who's incorrect. I don't think she would be incorrect because also I, as a human being, I can't forget a lot. I, I don't remember a lot of my childhood. I can barely remember. Mm. I, I It's very, very blurry for me. I can only remember like certain things. But I can mm. remember a lot of my childhood and I, I do believe her. Why, why do why why do you think she's a liar? She's a very nice girl. Do you want? I don't think she's her? a liar. I think she's. I think maybe she's mistaken. But why would she make that up? Is an excuse to? Bear? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's possible that, it's you know also possible that she is right and you are the one who is wrong. But I don't think that you should necessarily be qu just so incredibly quick to believe it. Because what if somebody says, "Hey, you own." So you just don't remember what you're gonna do. Well, first of all, we're talking about something that happened years ago. 
if I owed, if someone said, "Hey, you owe me fifty bucks from uh, seven years ago," I go like, "Fuck you! It's been seven years. Fuck you!" Right? <sighs> I don't know. Well, thanks for ruining my life, Max. Jesus. How did I ruin your life? You're the I one who was know, mean to a did. child. Well, I was a child too, so it's fair. Man, this is. Scott Pilgrim update! Update your RSS Scott Pilgrim versus beach. the world. He's your favorite comic book character. He's so full of uh -huh. personality, uh -huh. and he's very he's very well defined as a character. Uh -huh. And he has many personality traits, and he's got a very distinct face like facial features on his face. And that's why everybody likes him. Okay, cool. I I'm gonna I'm gonna plug and unplug my microphone in case it's doing something. Okay, one moment. Why is it doing? Shut up! And we're back! Okay, keep going. Scott Pilgrim News, RSS feed, all, all up in your business. I was saying, before I was interrupted, if you like Scott Pilgrim, good for you, I'm happy for you, and frankly, I'm jealous. Because I wish that I could enjoy this thing that you enjoy. And that's all there is to it. Yeah. Yeah. Also, and there's a movie based on the comic book starring Michael Sarah, and you can go see it in theaters right now. Okay, so now we're, don't we're going to reenact re the scene from the actual movie. I'm going to be Michael Sarah, and you're, you're going to be the blue hair girl, okay? No. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, I'm in love with you, I truly am. Uh, wait, I'm Ramona? Yeah, you're Ramona. Hey, Scott! I'm a girl! I'm in love with you, and I, and I want, want to cuddle with you in a bed. Well, before you can do that, you'll have to fight my evil boyfriend. No, I'm pretty sure I can cuddle with you and, and fight them later on. Uh, that is statutory rape. If you do that, it's not allowed. Who are you, you nerd? Why, because I know what rape is? Oh, sorry, I thought we were still... Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Oh God, I don't think it only hear you. Now it seems Scott Pilgrim's here to stay. Oh, I believe Scott Pilgrim's gay. Suddenly, there's Scott a... Pilgrim really has to take a pee. <laughs> okay, that was really good, Max. <laughs> That was really good. Okay, and I think they can hear me again now. Apparently, I was muted by myself. Man, what is wrong with you today in these technical difficulties? Are you serious? Are you playing a prank on me? Am no. I being punked? Yeah. Are you punking me? Come out, Ashton Kutcher. Come out, come out, nope. give him a hug. Hey, hey, don't punk me, bro. I'm sorry, I won't punk you, bro. Don't tase me, bro. Check it out, scottpilgrim.gov. Oh, don't tase me, bro. Really, Max? Really? It's from a song. From a song. No, it's from a uh, intern meme. Hate you, Max. Shut up. Let's do emails. You're a faggot. No one likes you. <clears throat> hey, everyone, send emails to. Hey, hey. I just want to say we will only be answering emails that are about Scott Pilgrim exclusively, because this is a Scott Pilgrim podcast, and that is what we talk about on this podcast, and we won't be talking about anything else. Uh, we well guys we don't have any emails so please send. what really well we do but not Scott Pilgrim related ones oh. I'm sorry okay well we'll we'll read the ones that aren't Scott Pilgrim related but but, but I'll read them lower in the meantime no in the meantime send us some Scott Pilgrim questions because this is a Scott Pilgrim cast and that's all we're talking about today yeah I'm gonna read them in like a gay voice and then when there's like Scott Pilgrim questions I'm gonna read them regularly do an impression of Michael Sarah. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm Michael's. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> is that good? All right. Okay, this is from uh, Luke de la Galnargalurg. Hey, you rascals. Actually, we're Weisenheimers. I'm kind of a movie gore. Ah, uh, movie goer. Ha! <laughs> I'm smart. And I want to know which movie you would like to live in besides Juno. And in which. One you couldn't bear living. Also, okay, so. Why would you ever want 
Li- uh, living in Juno is living in the real world, though. Yeah, just living in a very snarky world. If I lived in Juno, there wouldn't even be any guarantee that I would know Juno personally. Yep. So, wh- wh- what movie would you like to, to be in, Max? Uh, I don't know, Star Wars? <laughs> no, not not even. <laughs> I don't know, nothing. I'd, I'd <laughs> live in the real world. Okay, I would like to be in the movie uh, Transformers so I can destroy no. the world. I would live in the Pokemon movie because then yeah. I would be Pokemon Master. Yeah, that's good. Which world you couldn't bear living in? Ah. Uh, <laughs> little Nikki. I don't know about that. Why would anyone? For- why would anyone force you to? You know, cause the devil. Okay. <laughs> you know, cause. <laughs> hey guys, I'm the gay robot. <laughs> Check it out, AdamSandler.com. It's all about Scott Pilgrim. Yep. Uh, Bob Carly. Celery. I Carly. I Carly. In accordance to Max's instructions, and then he edited a drawing of a blob with a dick coming out of him, and I. I don't know what that means, because I can't remember what we what jokes we made earlier. I think that has to do with the After After Show. Because last week after you left, we did the After After Show. Whoa. You know what? Put it on the uh, on the thing. So I can see. Uh, It's on the thing. You know what? Something is wrong with my thing. Yeah, your thing is broken. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I got some weird spam. Spam? Spam with, with pictures. Oh, uh, check it out, yo, guys. We got some. Where's spam? Oh, I included pictures of a queen. Okay. Let's... Of a black queen? Mm-hmm. A few questions. Hello, Rich. R- 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 <laughs> Next email. <laughs> we are not going to be talking about Hello, Rich. Comic-Con, how long is it going to be called Comic-Con when each year the comic portion of the convention decreases 5%? You know what? The thing about Comic-Con is they want to move it because it's not big enough for the... uh, We might have talked about this before. It's not big enough for the the convention center that they hold it in. But now Mm -hmm. everybody who wants it to be there is getting all butthurt. But it's like... Look, I understand that you live in San Diego, but you have to think about what's better for the convention itself. Yeah, the convention, man. I want to see the guys from True Blood in a, in a nicer arena. I don't even know if I want to go if it's so crowded that I'm not going to be able to enjoy myself. And you'd freak out and explode. Uh, why, you, Tom, why the fuck did you watch Sex in the City 2? Because it was a great movie, Princess of My Labia! Lawrence of My Labia! Lawrence of My Labia! Lawrence of My Labia! Max, when is your newest uh, Wacky Joko for Kids Flash coming out, and when is your Fishworth Flash com- going to launch? Fishworth is never going to have lunch, because he has a big breakfast, so he doesn't need it. Uh, wacky game adventures for babies. Uh, the 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 next episode would have been out by now, but I hit a snag. I ran into some problems. What's wrong? Uh, in my personal life. Do you need some help? I'm a real doctor. No, you're not. And uh, okay. it would have been done by now, but I don't know. It'll be done soon. But don't get too excited because this episode is only is only two minutes long. Gay. Yeah, I know it sucks. No, I'm okay with that. Uh, your Tom, please don't read the rest out loud. Should I? Can no, I? yeah, uh, yes. Uh, I'm asking if I could be involved in the podcast. No. Why did he think we wouldn't read it out loud? <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> oh, man. No, you can't be on the podcast. I think no. it's already hectic and we step on each other's lines with two people and with three people it's going to be awful. Frankly, I think we should get rid of yeah. some, a cast member right now because there are too many. Yeah, I think there's some... You need to trim the fat. Around. Yeah. Max. Mm, yeah. Max. Hey, guys. How's it going? From Bridget Serenagalago. My question for you today is what's your favorite clothing line? If you have one. Do you have a favorite clothing line? The Tallman Store, right? 
You mean the big and tall shop? No, the Tallman. The Tallmans? You, you never heard about the Tallmans? I don't think that's a real thing. They say they, they sell <laughs> ironically tall shirts. Mm. Cool. My other question is, what's your opinion on South Park? Good? Bad? So-so? Hmm. Uh, I love South Park. Yeah, I like South Park too. Cool. This is from Glynis. Pronounced Glyn. Glynis. Is it about Scott Pilgrim? <clears throat> I fucking hope it is. Uh-oh, we might not be able to answer it, because this is fucking Scott Pilgrim cast. We already asked some non-Pilgrim cast Well, we'll questions. see what we can do. So I asked some questions in my last email about my internet connection, got one screen, I had to restart my computer. So later, I watched the show again, but it caught out after a certain point. Does this... Uh, Shut up. I'm not going to answer your question again. Shut up. My question yeah, for you're, Max... Yeah, you're a nitwit. <laughs> Just we don't want to hear download about to the computer. podcast. Don't watch the stupid online thing. My question for Max was really stupid, but now I've seen his excellent animations. I wanted to know if he had noticed Mickey the Dick is becoming less of a dick in every episode. What was his first question? He I said my know. my question to Max is really stupid. Uh, the one he asked last time. He didn't specify. Um, the most recent episode. Of wacky game jokes yeah, for kids, Robert dick. Burgless. I think Mickey was quite a bit of a dick in that yeah, episode, especially in the end. Yeah, he big part. Did you camera. missed that. Now in the next episode, he's going to be quite silly. He's gonna have so, some things to say. He's a complicated character. Let mm -hmm, me tell you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's basically whatever I want him to be, in mm -hmm. addition to what he is. But he's he's malleable, and that's kind of what I like about him. He's he's a he's a malware software. Okay, for Max and your Tom, ugh, 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 you guys are being dicks to each other. Don't take it the wrong way, it's funny and all, but seriously, suck it the fuck up. Your Tom, don't take this the wrong way, you're amazing. Max, stop acting like a robot and correcting everything with your crappy robotic ways. What's wrong with you guys? You gonna stand up for me, yo, Tom? Well, he also made fun of me. He said we're being dicks to each other. I think we're being sweet to each other. No, no. He was way more malicious to me than he was to you. Uh, well, Max, I don't think you're a robot. I think you're... No, your... no, 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 no. Say it to him, not me. Hey, listen there, fucking Zemphir O'Reilly. You can suck my boyfriend, man. You are hungry, man. And you can take it all the way to, to, to Afghanistan if I care. But you don't judge my best friend, Max, here. You don't talk to him that way because he's the best friend I have. For your health. You know, what's that kid's name? Uh, let me see. Wait, nope. Let's see. Wait, nope. Zamfir O'Reilly. Okay, Zamfir. You know what, Zamfir? Why don't you just kiss my radio edit? I'm gonna oh, edit that sorry. later. Sorry, we got yeah. a, we got a radio edit. I couldn't say that. Yeah, we can't. We, they're gonna kick us off FM nine nine point six seven eight nine nine nine. <clears throat> Hannah Smith, my childhood. I ate bugs. Whoa. A lot of bugs. Hannah is a hot chick name. Really, Hannah? Oh yeah. You know you know what Hannah is in Hebrew? What's well, that? Hannah. Oh, I thought you were going to like say what it. What it mean? What the name means? Well, Hannah is just a name from the stupid Bible. Yeah, but I thought you were going to like. Nope. You know how nope. you, you know how names have like a meaning. Yeah, not here. It's all Bible shit. Yeah, but what? No, even still, names have like a meaning. What? What is the meaning of your name, Yo Tom? I was a king in the Bible. <laughs> you were a king of, of the Bible. Yeah, I was a king of the Bible. <laughs> That's I not wrote true. It. I, I helped Making Moses it write it. Okay, you know what? And you don't know me, so yeah, I was the I Bible. used to have a piece of paper, a certificate that said what my name means, and I don't remember what it said, but I'm uh, sure a, that a huge, a huge gay man with with a achy ear. Ouch, my ear hurts. I'm sorry. I'm sure that Hannah means something, and that's what I wanted to know. And you it's, were being it, a it bit... really, it really doesn't. I'm telling you. How do you know? Because Hannah is from the fucking Jewish name Hannah, and Hannah is from the Bible. No, it could still mean something. Look it up. If, you, if you're not going to look it up, then you have no proof that it doesn't mean anything. Well, for they can add, like, stupid things. 
names Two from edge. the Bible mean things. Every not every name means things, but just because it's from the Bible doesn't mean it doesn't Meaning, mean anything. Meaning, grace of God. Oh wow, that's real. Wow, really? That's, that's real. Dope. Grace of God. Really? There you go. There you Fuck go. Okay, that. now, are you going to now concede to my point and admit I was right and apologize to me like you no, should? No, you're not right. Grace of God. That they say that in probably every fucking name that's from the Bible. You're you're unbelievable. I'm, I'm right, and you're still being an asshole. Are you serious? This is my childhood story from Bahar Bagharari. I was I the daughter of my dad, Thomas, and my mom, Martha. When I was a kid, my parents were murdered by what a man. This? Come on. What is this? We don't want to hear your fucking, you trying to be funny, your fucking bullshit. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Bahar Bagharari. Funny family moments and wonderfulness. This is from Gabriela Morgado. Well, for one, it's Christmas Eve and my mom's lighting up the fireplace and my brother is helping her put the logs in, if you know what I mean. I'm <laughs> laying on my stomach on the couch with my head hanging over the arm of the sofa. My brother decides to be a jackass and holds a log over my head. I jerk my head up and when he screams me, Name screams me name like I did something wrong and I hit my head. What is this? I don't want to hear this. So we story. spent the night in the ER because a six year old just got hit over the head with a Dura log. There's another time when I'm over at my dad's and we stopped for McDonald's to get McFlurries for me and my brother on the way back from my mom's <gasps> house. <laughs> My parents are divorced. And I ended up throwing up all over the car because my stomach couldn't handle being in the car while it was moving after heating heavy ice cream. I'm sorry, did we put a call out for people to tell us stories w- about their stupid childhoods that we don't care I about? I went home idiots? covered in puke and my mom flipped. But four years old crying covered in their own puke. It's kind of cute, right? Nope. Mom flipped a bitch. Actually, I did. I did ask for stories. I thought they would be better, but... You don't no. want your stories if this is what they're going to be like. This is another email from Gabriella Morganagdo. Why did Scott date a 17-year-old in the first place named Knives that he met you know on what? the bus? This is something that Scott I don't understand News! about Scott News! Excuse me? Scott News. Oh, I thought you said fuck yous. No. This is something that I don't understand about Scott Pilgrim, and you've read all of them, right? Yep. So you can explain this to me, and I'm guessing you probably torrented them. No, you're not paying no, for I bought them. I bought the. Oh wow, uh, really? A whole, a whole case of them. I went on well, Amazon. You know what? Yo, Tom, and I'm I, proud and of I went you. like, <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> way to way to be a, a stand up guy, cause stealing yeah. is wrong. Mhm, I agree. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring back all the things I torrented in book form. Go on. So, how long ago did you read it? Not that long ago. Hmm. Like a month ago, a year ago. In t- over the past week and a half or something. Oh, and you did this probably out of interest because of the movie coming out, or...? No, I was just bored. Have you seen the movie yet? Nope, it didn't come out here yet. Oh. Hey, did you watch well, Inception? Okay. Not yet. I'm good not movie! Gonna... I know it's a good movie, and I'm going to see it when it comes to video. Video? But, hey, listen. VHS, you mean? Listen. Can you let me... T- I've had a fucking question I've been trying to ask you for about five goddamn minutes now. But you won't shut your fucking mouth and let me say it. So do you mind... Sorry. <sighs> Didn't even... No, I don't even remember what I was going to say. God Something damn it. Something about Scott Pilgrim and... His... Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. In the first book, he's are you, 23 are you gonna, and he's... Are you going to eight... thank me for reminding mm. you? Okay. In the first book, he's 23 and he's dating a 17-year-old, and in the second book, he's 16 and he's dating another 16-year-old. Well, <clears throat> in the book, also, the, no, that's not true. But in the book, there are, uh, there are a lot of flashbacks to when he was younger. So the second book is a flashback. Not all of it. Some of it. Just no. the beginning. Yeah, I think so. Uh, a lot of the beginnings also start with a dream. Beginning of the books. But, uh, seems like he has a lot of girlfriends. And, of course, as we've established, they all have the same face. Yeah, he has so which one girlfriends. is the one that which one is the one that has seven evil exes? Ramona. Is it Knives? Ramona. No, it's Knives. It's Knives. No, it's Ramona. Knives is the 17-year-old girl that he dumped. 
when he dated about, her when he was what about 24. Kim? Is it Kim? Kim is his friend now, but he dated her when they were younger, but then he had to move to Toronto, and then later on in the book, in, uh, later on in her life, she moved to Toronto as well. But here, okay, here's the question, and this is the real question. Which Guys, this girl... is if you have any any Scott Pilgrim questions, I'm the send Scott Pilgrim us, knower. So send us your Scott Pilgrim questions. We want to hear them right now. Mm -hmm. This is.